Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create summary queries that can perform a mathematical function on another grouped field within a query. These are usually shorter queries often used for reporting. For example, if you wanted to know the sum of sales for each salesperson in your company, you could show this in a summary query. Assuming that you have the salesperson as an actual column, and then you have sales as a column. If we go to run the query right now, we can see that what we are seeing is the total amount of the sale for every single item sold by that particular salesperson. What we would like to see is a grouping of all of the unique values in the salesperson column and then the sum of the sales figures for each unique grouping in the salesperson column. To do that, you have to first, in the design view, click the totals button in the database toolbar or simply right click in any field and choose totals from the pop-up menu that appears. This then adds the totals row into your queries QBE grid. Under each field by default, you'll see the words group by. The group by value indicates that the query will group all records in that field that contain the exact same value. So under salesperson, we will leave group by. Next, click under the sales field. We don't want to group all the sales together. I have no interest in grouping all the $100 sales together. What I would like to do is for each unique grouping created by the salesperson groups, I would then like to sum the sales. And so what we do is we click into the group by, use the drop down at the right end, and select the function we would like to perform, such as sum. Then when we run the query again, we see all of the sales pe people and the total sum of sales for each unique grouping in the salesperson column. Also, if you had additional fields, which you needed, say, for criteria purposes only, such as, let's say, order date, maybe I would like to see the sales for each unique salesperson based on a given order date. I can click in and put in my criteria. Let's say I was looking for all of 97. So between 1197 and 123197, which it then corrects the syntax for me. You're not, you're not going to want to leave group by under order date, because once again, if I run it, it then groups all of the order dates and the salespersons. So what I'm seeing is the total amount of the sales for each day for each person shown in the database. If that's not what you wanted, what you would instead do is click into group by under order date. We don't want to perform any function on this. We only really need it because we needed to restrict the criteria. So towards the bottom of the drop down menu, choose the function where. That will actually remove the show check from the show checkbox meaning that this field, although it will be used for criteria purposes, will not actually be displayed in the results set. So if we read the query from left to right, we want to group by the unique values found in the salesperson column. For each unique grouping, we would like to sum the sales where the order date is between 1197 and 123197. So if I rerun this query, now I'm seeing the total amount of sales for the salespeople for 1997. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.